Hello all. We just left Labrador City about four hours ago. We are on our way to Happy Valley Goose Bay. Hopefully we'll find a happy valley or a happy goose anyway, because gooses aren't nice when they're not happy, let me tell you. We went through Churchill Falls, which does not have a falls, at least not one that we could find. But they have an airport. But they do have an airport, yes. And literally out in the middle of nowhere, absolutely. Oh, there's a sign, 85 kilometers to Happy Valley Goose Bay. We are still driving. Right down to no, I think that was a... Uh, I thought we had to go down to 30 kilometers an hour. In Labrador, instead of like in the little towns and stuff that we've gone through, normally it's 50 kilometers an hour or about 30 miles... Yeah, 50 kilometers an hour or 30 miles an hour. And um, here in all the little towns, it's 30 kilometers an hour, which is like 25 miles an hour. So for 20 miles an hour, yeah, it's um, it's a lot, lot slower than I'm used to. So it's kind of hard to get down to that speed there for a little bit while we were going through Churchill Falls. But it's just beautiful. We're just traveling through the mountains. I think we've been traveling through mountains for what, three days, Kim? Yeah. And uh, never get tired of the forest. Absolutely not. Ask us if we've seen a moose. No, no, we have not. There's big signs that say, be moose aware and, you know, look out for moose. And, and although I really don't want to see one in the middle of the road when I round a corner, um, it would be great to see one, you know, like off the side of the road in one of those little valleys that are there. That'd be awesome. Or a bear. They said the bears are very pre prevalent out here. So if we stop for the night somewhere, then um, just be aware. Be bear aware. So I have to bring my bear bells. Tinkle, tinkle. Don't eat me. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I worked in Elliott Lake for a while, and we had a bear guy come in, and, and uh, as long as you got s some sort of sound, apparently that uh, most bear attacks happen because you've either surprised them or they have cubs, and uh, so you don't really want to do either of that. They'll move out of your way if they hear you coming. Now, that's not all bears, of course, because there are their bears that are just going to be jerks. So I guess they have them in, you know, every species. <laughs> oh, I could be. We are like literally way out in the middle of nowhere. We've had no internet for hours now. We got a little bit of internet when we went through Churchill Falls. Um, it's 555 kilometers from um, Labrador City to Hope Valley Goose Bay. And basically, what you're looking at right now is what we've been looking at for the last four and a half hours. So, six hours of mountainous, beautiful terrain. Now, we've gotten out a few times and walked around. And there's little huts. And I don't know whether they're maybe little hunting huts or, or something out here. I mean, they don't look like homes as far as, you know... I'm sure the winter time is pretty wicked up here. We're we're probably up now uh, north of the 52nd parallel. So we're pretty far north. It's actually, I think, probably farther than I've ever been north. Um, in Ontario, you can only go so far. Ah, construction. Oh, just say, everybody go, oh. Because we've been running into this like Forever. way too many times and then they have the lights you know like so some of them are timed some of them like take 15 20 minutes like I, like I don't know what they're doing some of them are flashing lights so if the I guess if the red is flashing you can go if the way is clear 
Some of them you have to wait until it's green. But you really don't know until you get there. So you just kind of, you know, sound it out. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. So I don't know whether there's a sensor on them that says, you know, there's a car there now. Does this one have a timer, Kim? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So as we get closer, you can see the timer. So we have 77 seconds. I think that's... Memorial Bridge. Oh, yeah. Munich Pone Memorial Bridge. And they're doing work on it anyway. But isn't that gorgeous up there? I'll just take the time to, you know, so you can move it in a bit. Because really, like, that's all you see is forest. I mean, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. And, it, and the last video, remember I was talking about that forest that we came through that was just, like, void of energy. It didn't have any positive energy in it. You know, even the smell of the forest was stale. It was, like... It was really weird, and this is definitely not like this. This is, um, you can just feel, yeah, you can feel the energy, you can smell it. It, uh, you know, it'd be not really nice. There are also, if you come to Northern Labrador, where we are, there are no campgrounds. Like, literally, none. Zero. Absolutely none. We thought, you know... It would be like prime camping area, but Kim thinks that if you live in the woods, you don't want to go camping in the woods. I suppose. I suppose. If you can go out in the backyard and get the same thing without moving anything around. And there's big ass bugs out there. Oh, yeah, totally. And little tiny ones that bite really hard. So we have, what, an hour to go before we get to Hope Valley Goose Bay? Yeah. truck there uh, back a while and, and we pulled over to make coffee and he was pulled over too and he was kind of checking the hubs on the on the tire on the truck he was towing and doing something underneath the truck and I thought oh and when we we caught up to him on the hill there and he was going pretty slow no, but as you can see it's just um Miles and miles and miles of vast forest, the Boreal Forest, which runs from Labrador into Alaska, actually. And don't quote me because I can't tell you for 100% sure, but I believe it's one of the largest forests in the world. Um, Canada has so much territory that, you know, you either have to fly into or hike into. Um, even going on a train there's only so far up north that, that you can go and uh, it's exciting to explore it it's exciting to uh, get to those places where you know people don't normally go and Labrador is one of those places people don't normally go but you very much have to love the wilderness To come out here for sure eh? Yes. I mean you're driving for literally days but it's all paved highway uh, we were talking to the lady at the liquor store and she said that um, the highway is pretty much paved all the way to the ferry except for about a hundred kilometers of it that wasn't paved yet back in July so I'm hoping that you know they've done at least half of that Maybe all of it would be like phenomenally awesome. Yeah. So we have no more, we'll no more dirt nice. washboard roads because both the van and I had enough of that. That was a long, hard drive yesterday. Um, I mean, I'm I'm so glad that we we've, we've done this because you know it is so beautiful out here. And like I said, the the fresh air and the and the atmosphere. It's just beautiful. And what an adventure. 
Although it's a more than a two day drive to the ferry. We now know that. So, and we are contemplating on whether to take the, uh, once we get on the island of Newfoundland, we have to take a ferry. There's three ferries available on, um, on and off the island of Newfoundland. And there's one in the north and two in the south. Well, the one in the north, this is the only way to get to. There is no easier way. There is no other way. And I, you know, I mean, I wouldn't mind driving this again. No problem. But to drive that washboard road, um, you know, three weeks from now, the weather's going to be totally different up here as well. So you don't, you don't really know. You're getting into that, you know, um, a lot of rain, a lot of fog, you're in the mountains. So we're, we're contemplating taking the eight hour ferry back across to Nova Scotia and going down the Cabot Trail. I, I personally, Kim's been down the Cabot Trail before. I've never been down the Cabot Trail. So, you know. Beautiful. Yeah, that would be an exciting adventure come back a different way a little bit of different isn't that what traveling is all about not looking forward to the eight-hour ferry ride though because if you listen to me before you know I'm really not a boat person neither of us yeah <laughs> yeah my girlfriend Kim isn't a very much of a boat person either so but they have accommodations on the eight hour ferry and we might just take a gravel and sleep for eight hours and they can wake us up when we're there. Cause I don't do prescription medicine or anything like that. If I take a gravel, I will be asleep. And maybe that's one way we can get around it. I don't know. But there's no other way to get on and off the island other than taking the ferries. So, you got to do what you got to do if you want to do it. And you never know. It might be like totally glass and we just float nicely along. But still, I mean, eight hours on a ferry, that's a long time. And um, I've never been on a cruise ship, nor do I ever want to be on a cruise ship because, again, I'm not a boat person. But... Um, what do you do? Like, I mean, on a cruise ship, there's all kinds of things to do, but what do you do on a ferry? You can go, they probably have a restaurant of some sort. So you probably go there and you can go out on deck if you probably wanted to. Um, the ferries that I've been across when I went across from Victoria to Vancouver, uh, they were huge ferries and you can go sit out on deck or you, you could go sit and have something to eat in the cafeteria and there was lounge areas. But I think, you know, for eight hours, I, I'm going to want to lie down. And they all, and they have accommodations. And you know what? It might be perfect because then when we get to Nova Scotia, we don't have to worry about finding some place to go to have a nap because we're extremely tired. Because we've just been up, up for eight hours on a boat. So, you know, the options are endless, as they say.
we will talk to you later as Kim and I continue on our chipmunk adventure. See you later. Have a great day.